The foundation of NYCFC. New York City Football Club was founded by City Football Group and the New York Yankees as Major League Soccer's 20th franchise. Announced on May 21, 2013 at a rooftop pitch constructed by Manchester City in Harlem, the club would become the first MLS team to play out of the five boroughs. As NYCFC geared up for its inaugural 2015 season, a blend of seasoned MLS pros and international stars made up the first roster to wear the new crest on the first jersey in club history. Coached by MLS veteran Jason Christ. The inaugural season. Official supporters groups the Third Rail and Los Templados, along with a number of unofficial groups were formed. These groups provided the soundtrack in the Bronx and in the stands up and down the country throughout the first season providing unconditional support, win or lose. They were out in force for NYCFC's first official game down in Florida, a one-all draw against fellow expansion side Orlando City, in which Mix Discarude scored the team's historic first goal. A victory would mark the inaugural home game against the New England Revolution, as 40,000 plus descended upon Yankee Stadium for an unforgettable day in the club's young history. NYCFC took the very first steps towards creating the family on and off the field that they've established today. The future is blue. The postseason evaded NYCFC in their debut season, but they made it right in season two under Patrick Vieira, the French World Cup winner who would spend two and a half years as head coach. It was a successful reign for Vieira, which kicked off seven straight qualifications for the MLS Cup playoffs, as the likes of Alexander Collins, Maxime Cheneau, Sean Johnson, Maxi Morales, and Anton Tenerholm became synonymous with the NYCFC crest. Meanwhile, as well as the impact of senior pros, homegrown talents Tavon Gray, Justin Hock, Andres Jason, James Sands, and Joe Scally became national champions at an academy level and would go on to contribute to the future successes at first team level. Sands, NYCFC's first ever homegrown signing, enjoyed an especially meteoric rise following his debut in 2017. Winning senior international caps for the U.S. men's national team and on the CONCACAF Gold Cup before joining Rangers on loan. Another breakthrough star, Jack Harrison, who joined NYC in the 2016 MLS Super Draft, quickly became a fan favorite and contributed goals and assists throughout an incredible two and a half year spell. Continental Qualification. In 2018, Pep Guardiola's former assistant, Dominic Torrent, left Manchester City and took the helm as NYCFC's head coach. Torrent would guide the team to a top spot in the conference standings and their first CONCACAF Champions League qualification the following season. And this time, Another future hero came into the foray in Valentin Tati Castellanos. Castellanos joined initially on loan from fellow City Football Group outfit Torque Monteverdio before signing permanently in New York in 2019. The Argentine developed year on year to become arguably Major League Soccer's best forward before his eventual move to the Spanish La Liga. Ronnie Dyla took the head coach role at the start of a pandemic disrupted 2020 campaign, but City made history again winning their first CONCACAF Champions League game and continuing to have a presence in the postseason. Undeniable champions. The following season would prove to be the most significant yet, as NYCFC clinched its first two pieces of silverware. Goalkeeper Sean Johnson was named captain by Ronnie Dyla, following Alex Ring's move to Austin FC and formed a crucial piece in the championship winning side along with important new signings, Talis Magno, Alfredo Morales, and Santiago Rodriguez, amongst others. A solid regular season threatened to unravel late in the summer with a luckless combination of injuries, untimely international breaks, and suspensions, almost costing Dallas side their postseason berth. However, just as it looked to be getting away from them, Icelandic defender Gudi Thararinsson's late free kick in Atlanta secured a draw and served as the turning port towards an undeniable march to the MLS Cup title. After dispatching Atlanta and the Supporters' Shield champions New England Revolution in the first two rounds, 
Dallas side captured the Eastern Conference crown thanks to a gutsy 2-1 comeback over the Philadelphia Union before they went one step further to win it all in Portland. A goal from breakthrough star and 2021 MLS Golden Boot winner Tati Castellanos put the road team ahead early on Portland before a heartbreaking late concession seemed to hand the initiative to the hosts. Following a resilient extra time performance, Alexander Collins' penalty kick and two saves from Sean Johnson clinched the MLS Cup and created scenes and memories that will last a lifetime for everyone associated with NYCFC. It was also a landmark year off the field. As City and the Community, the Charity Foundation, proudly supported by New York City Football Club, cut the ribbon on a 50th blue mini pitch across the five boroughs. Austin 2016, the New York City Soccer Initiative is a first of its kind $3 million public-private partnership between the Mayor's Fund to advance New York City, NYCFC, the U.S. Soccer Foundation, Adidas, and Etihad Airways to create and maintain 50 mini pitches across the city and expand free soccer programming to the next generation of New Yorkers and underserved communities. 26 more mini pitches will now be constructed in time for the 2026 FIFA World Cup taking place across North America. Home for New York City Football Club. More silverware would follow in 2022 as NYCFC defeated Liga MX champions Atlas FC at Yankee Stadium to earn the Campiones Cup. The first piece of silverware for then interim head coach Nick Cushing, who would go on to be appointed permanently at season's end. Their exciting postseason run was ended at the conference final stage but the biggest moment of 2022 was still to come after the season wrapped. It was a long search for NYCFC's permanent home following eight years playing between Yankee Stadium and City Field. But in November, Mayor Eric Adams unveiled a vision for Willis Point, Queens, which includes a 25,000-seat soccer-specific stadium, the first ever soccer-specific stadium in the five boroughs, and a truly game-changing moment for NYCFC and the sport in New York City. Featuring 2,500 units of 100% affordable housing, a new 450-seat elementary school, a hotel and retail shops in addition to the stadium, the project will be transformational for the area, as well as for the beautiful game in the world's greatest city. Expected to open in 2027, following the FIFA World Cup, the best is certainly yet to come for New York City Football Club, as they chase more silverware in 2023 and beyond.